Welcome to this video on using the PowerShell require statement. In this video, we're going to show how you can use the require statement inside of your scripts to prevent them from running when they don't meet certain criteria. The syntax for the require statement is pretty simple. You use the pound sign followed by the word requires, and then whichever parameters that you want to accompany with. In the case of our current script, we want it to only execute when the current PowerShell console is version 7.1 or higher. It must include the speculation control of a certain version number, it does require that the PS edition is the core edition. And last but not least, it does require that it's being run from an administrative PowerShell prompt. The first require statement upon executing this that resolves is, are we running inside of an administrative PowerShell window? If not, we are going to get blocked and need to change our working environment. I'm going to start up a new PowerShell window. I'm going to use the run as command just to open that as an administrator. So get this new window opened up, running as an administrator to meet that require statement criteria, and then let's see what happens next. Upon trying to run this again in this new administrative PowerShell window, I am then confronted with the incorrect version of PowerShell being used while executing. So this new window that I did open up defaulted to Windows PowerShell 5.1, and of course our require statement says 7.1 or higher. Again, I'm going to start up a new PowerShell window here. It's going to be the PWSH to open up a PowerShell 7.1 instance. I'm also going to make sure that I open that as an administrator as well. And then let's see what happens when we try and execute it this next time. So this will be the last criteria of our list that we need to meet, but it looks like we're missing a module that's required for the script to run. Even though we're not actually using any of the commandlets inside of that module, if you specify that it has to be present, then that script will not execute without it being installed on your local system. Let's get that module installed real quick, and then let's attempt to execute this one last time. All right, we've got the script running with the criteria that we need in order to run this script successfully. Thanks for watching.